Okay, today we're dealing with 2.8. The page on your screen should look like this. Okay, properties of multiplication. Multiplying using mental math. The most important thing you need to remember when we're using mental math is it's not... It's, you're fi trying to find the easiest way to multiply using what you already know. So you should be pulling on a lot of prior knowledge, stuff you already know. Okay, if you look over here at the theater seats. All right. There are four sections of seats in the Playhouse Theater. Each section has seven groups of seats. Each group has 25 seats. How many seats are there in the theater? Well, 4 times 7 times 25 is the commutative property. That means no matter which way you multiply these numbers, you're going to get the same answer. So what we need to do is look for two numbers that are easy to multiply, figure out the answer. Now I know a lot of you want to do 4 times 7 because that's an easy fact. But if we have 25 and 4 here, think of your quarters. 25, 50, 75, 100, that's 4. Or think 4 times 25 equals 100. All right, I'm going to go back to the flip chart. Same thing. Here's your stage. 4 times 25 equals 100. Try and write the best I can. Be patient with me, please. Okay, then you got to think 100 times 7 equals 700, just like it says over here. So on your sheet, right here, I hope you put 700. So there are 700 seats in all in the theater. Now, the math talk says, how could knowing 4 times 25 help you find 6 times 25? Well, if you're already counting by 25s, and you know 4 times 25, well, that's just, you know, 6 is 2 more than 4. So you just go up 2 more. Well, Obviously, we started learning that 5, 25 plus 25 is 50, or 25 times 4 is 100. So every two 25s is 50. So you could go, well, okay, count by twos. Well, 50, 100, 150. That's the best way it could help you. Now, try using mental math and properties on A. Find 6 times 10 times 10. Again, I'm going to jump to the flip chart here and help you out. But they're jumping way ahead, so I'll go back to the page. Okay, well, 6 times 10 times 10. Well, I can either do 6 times 10 or wait and let 10 times 10 figure itself out. So 6 times, okay, they put the bracket around 10 and 10 here. Well, I'm pretty confident, you guys, you understand that 10 times 10 is 100, so 6 times 100 would be, that's right, write it down right here, 600. Okay, right here is going to be 600. And that's what you should have written down in your... Alright, so we took those guys, they made 100. I wonder if this typing does any better, guys. So right here, we should give us 600. Hope that makes sense. Now, 4 times 9 times 250. Now, 250 is a pretty big number, guys. But with the commutative or the associative, I know that 25 is a quarter, so 250 
kind of the same thing, except it's a, instead of just being a 25, it's a 25 tens or 250. So 250 and plus 250 is kind of like adding 25 and 25 to give you 50. Counting by quarters, except when we count by quarters here, we're counting by 100. Like 250 times 4 would basically be 4 times 25 tens, which we already did and we came up with 100. So 4 times 250 should be 1,000. Again, it's always about relating it to the uh, numbers you're using. So 1,000 times 9, I think you guys kind of got it, it's a 1 times a 9, so you just change that 1 to a 9, you should get 9,000, I would hope. Nine thousand. Okay, now we're going to move on. Turn your page over to your examples. I'll give you a second. Use friendly numbers. Now, when we say friendly numbers, uh, numbers that are easy for us to compute, such as two fifty, the twenty fives, the fifties, the tens. Those are what we consider easy numbers. Okay, uh, 25 times 250. Well, you got to think 24 is 6 times 4, and 4 times 250 is 1,000. So, what they did is they broke down 24 to 6 times 4, which is fine. See, 24 here, 6 times 4 makes 24, times 250. Then they put 6 down here because they wanted you to take 4 times 250. Is what we just did. And uh, remember with that quarter idea, it's going to be 1,000. I can write it in there. I'm not the best at writing with my fingers, guys. Okay. So 6 times 1,000 is going to be, you guessed it, 6,000. Very good. Now, B. You could also have them. Okay? 16 times 50. Well, 16 divided by 2 is 8. So find half of 16. You got to think. 16 can be divided evenly. If it can't be divided evenly, it's going to make it a lot harder. Okay? But 8 times 50 sounds a lot easier because you can do 8 times 5 tens, which is 40 tens or 400. And then you just got to, since you divided it by 2, now double it again. 2 times 400, or double 400, is 800. Now the only reason you're redoubling it is because you, you split it in half, and then you doubled it back again once it was easier numbers to use. It's all about what's easiest and works the best for you guys. All right, now they're going to show us using addition. Uh, 4 by 625. Think. 625 is 600 plus 25. So I can take 4 times 600, and then I can take 4 times 25. This is a common one. Uh, most of your parents probably do it this way when they're thinking mentally. Uh, because we know that 4 times 600 is 24 hundreds or 2,400. I know you're probably laughing at the way I write, but I'm trying my best here. And 4 times 25, well, we've gone over a lot. Our quarters are going to be kind of important, equals 100. Well, 2,400 plus 100 is going to be 2,500. That's right. Well, those twos are going to get me. My little daughter Piper is going to think she's a better writer than I am. And you know what? She is after today. Look at this stuff. Now, you can also use subtraction. 5 times 398. Whew. Well, here's what you got to think. 398 is only, only 2 less. Only 2 less. Did 
than 400. That's right. So 5 times 298 is the same thing as 5 times 400 minus 2. 400 minus 2 is the same thing as saying 398. But then if you take 5 times 400 right here, you get 2,000. But you, have to, but you also take 5 times 2, which will give you 10. And you subtract that 10, so 2,000 minus 10. Okay, a lot of you want to go way down and go to like 1,900 or something. Well, you can. It'll be 1,900 and 90. This is one of the more difficult ways unless you practice it a lot. And we can go over it a lot more uh, in practicing. Okay. In example C and D, it asks you what property is being shown. Well, that's called the distributive property because you're finding different ways to distribute uh, your fact to make it work for you. Part addition, part subtraction. Okay, break apart 112, define 7 times 112 by using mental math and addition. Okay? Well, if 12 is there, that means 100 has to be right here, okay? All right, now I know we're not really versed on our 12s, but 7 times 100 is going to be 700. All right, man, I really need to practice here. So it's going to give us 700. Plus, parenthesis, 7 times 12. That's supposed to be a 2. Which would give us 700. Plus, now I know a lot of you are thinking, man, how do I know what 7 plus 12 is? And yes, this is a 7, by the way. Well, it's a 12, right? 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 2 is 14. 70 and 14 make 84. That's how I would do it in my head, guys. So that gives you the answer of, let's see if I can make 7 better, 784. Doesn't want to go down. There you go. Okay. So that's the basic idea. Now, it says find the product and tell which strategy you use. Uh, I've got a lot of different problems up here that you have on your 2 through 14. I'm going to let you work through a few of those on your own with... Uh, your teacher, then uh, when you're done, I want you guys to come back and start playing again for problem solving because I'd like to do problem solving with you. Okay, so now here's problem solving. Use the table to solve the problems. Use the workspace, which you guys have over here on your page, to figure out the answer, then write the answer on the line. 3,043 people buy tickets at the gate for section N. Okay, right here, section N. How much money is collected for section N at the gate? Well, 3,043 people. So you got to write out 3,043. All right, so if I write out 3,043, right? How many people buy tickets? Or how much money is collected, I'm sorry. Now they buy it at the gate. That's the important part here, guys. The gate, this is the price. 15 game pen. Oh, the gate price is $25. So, I've got this time, $25. Let's see what they got written out here for you. Ooh, we'll go back to that one. 
So, what am I going to do? Well, I'll show you. See if I can get my text tool here. Who comes under? Okay, so. Yep, so, I need to break up 3,000 because I'm taking it times 25. So, 3,000 times 25, 40 times 25, and 3 times 25. Remember, 25 is the price of each ticket. I'm just going to go ahead and line these up a little bit here. Okay. Now, why don't you take a second, see if you can figure those out. Okay, hopefully now you've got it. You've done, counted by your 25s again with your 3s. Okay, 3 25s equals, that's right, 7,500. Or, since it's 7,000, what would we go to? Okay, it would be 3 times 25 is 75, and then you add the 1,000 on, okay? Now, 4 times... It'd be 25 times 4 tens. All right, now 25 times 4 tens. Well, 25, and four, 25 times 4 tens is going to be 100, right? But then you have 4 tens, so then the zero on, it's 1,000. Now, 325 is the simplest we can get. 25, 50, that's right, 75. Now let's add those together. 75,000 plus 1,000 more is 76,000 plus 75. So our answer is going to be 76,000 75. Okay, I hope that's what we came up with. And uh, you guys need to make sure you put the dollar sign on there. Okay? That's how we do that first problem. I'm going to let uh, you with the teacher do the rest of them. Uh, teen and her friends buy three full season plans for section M. So make sure you find section M, full season. Uh, if, there's an, if there are 45 games, how much do they spend all together? So you're going to take 25 times 45. Good luck. And that will be the end of this lesson.